My name is Kevin. My name is Berenice. My name is Daniel. My name is Mac. Hey. And we just created all the bubble places for you guys. So just a quick disclaimer, these are just our own opinions mm -hmm. on this specific drink. It does not mean the place is bad, it does not mean the place is always good. It's just about this one drink, we only rated milk tea, specifically classic milk tea in almost all of them. So if you like one of these places a lot and we did not rate it very high, it's just because of this one drink. It does not represent the entire place or all of their drinks in general. Alright, many of you have been wondering, what's the best bowl place in Riverside? Well, we have a very diverse group here of friends who want to show you and rank each of the bubble places. All right, so first over here, we have Ding Tea. We got Cha Tuo, Tim Boba. What is this? Zero Bruh, degrees. We just Zero degrees. <laughs> and we got 10 reds. <laughs> you have a memory of a goldfish. <laughs> yeah, should be good. Should be. All right, let's do it. Okay. So, so we're going to make you a tier list. And today we're going to be trying five, five, five of the places. And tomorrow we're gonna be trying the other five. Bro, tomorrow, tomorrow? Bro, they don't need to know. <laughs> you don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to know. And we're using environmentally friendly straws because we love the turtles. They're stubby. They're hard. Alright, can I take a sip? Yes. <gasps> Damn, don't drink the whole thing! <laughs> You're talking? Oh goodness. I just think that it tastes basic, you know, it's milk tea, like you taste what you expect, there's nothing special about it. It's, you don't really get that tea aspect, it's very, like Daniel says, it's just, it's just watered down. It's, it's definitely watered, watered down. Yeah. Maybe it's because we just sat here for like 20 minutes trying to get this to work. We didn't do that. <laughs> and also, I feel like, I feel like the boba's kind of too hard, like, it doesn't really? feel fresh, yeah. And then aside from that, like, it doesn't... Yeah. Kevin like what? soft balls. <laughs> Can I have a second try? Yeah. It's not hard. No, it it's, is hard. So I'm it's, like, it's not like chewy chewy. I'm just gonna try to super drink chewy. Dude, I like scale one to five, it's a two. <laughs> Alright, I give the tea a three and the boba a two. I give the tea a three, the boba I give it a two, I guess, as well. I'll give a drink a three, the boba a two as well. Yeah, I agree. It's also a two and the boba is boba. <laughs> Alright, <what's laughs> next. 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 Next we have Tim Boba. Poke this bitch. Ooh. Well, that that's a nice sound. That's a nice sound. That's that's a nice sound. Nice. That might be extra credit right here, <laughs> honestly. Uh, <laughs> dude, there's like protein powder and water. Okay. <laughs> Alright, honestly, like, this one, it's not as sweet and it's a little more bland, but the boba is better. Okay. Yeah. yeah so the boba is okay. a lot I'm in agreement with the boba as a better flavor, as a better texture than the other one. The actual tea, like this one, tastes less like tea. It tastes more like. It tastes like protein powder. Like back when I didn't know that you should mix protein powder with milk, and I mixed it with water. Honestly, that, it's that's like that's if you it try to make vanilla milk, but you didn't put enough like vanilla flavoring. Like I don't taste the milk tea. I don't taste. Oh, I taste more milk than I do good. tea. I give the tea a one and the boba a three. I give the tea a one. I give the boba maybe a two. <laughs> I'll give it the tea a one, the boba a one. Yeah, the tea is the tea is pretty ass. I'm sorry, the tea is pretty ass. The boba is the boba is okay. It's boba. Tim boba, in my opinion, it's very soggy for me. I like like harder boba, a bit more defined like shape, and it's not at all. So that's why I gave it a one. Well, you see, for me, I don't like the boba to be very chewy. I like it to you know, maybe one or two chews and be able to you know swallow it. For, but so that's why I enjoyed that one better and gave it a higher score compared to the previous one. I am not a ball man. I like my <laughs> jelly. <laughs> Alright, all right, what's next? Um, Chatuo. Dude, that bubble looks so fucked. Damn, let me louder? <laughs> Alright. I give the tea a 3 and the boba a 3.5. Mm. Tea? I can actually give it a 4. I really like the tea. The boba? That's good flavor, but it's a little too like soft for my liking, so I'll mm -hmm. give that a three as well. The drink, I'll give it a four as well. It's really, really good. Like I can taste the milk, I can taste the tea. Very good. 
The Boba is also really, really soggy, so I'm, I'm gonna have to give it a one as well. It's exactly the same as Tim Boba. T is a three. That were, the first two are worse, but like I like the Boba for some reason. I like the, the I like, soft, squishy. I like boba. the Boba. The Boba is pretty good too. Yeah. yeah. All right. So wait. <laughs> final reflections. Yeah. yeah. So Chatuo, I give the T a three and the Boba three point five. So far, it's better than the other two that we tried. Yeah, I agree with both of them. It's a lot better than the two that we tried. I really like the tea because I can taste it. The I really, I really, really want to like the boba, but I, it's too soggy for me. The tea is definitely three, and the boba is boba. A little better boba. What like, number? Is it? I'll give it a three point one. Yeah, it's try, try, try. Show, show, show just like the boba in the cup. It's a struggle <laughs> to get the boba out. Like usually, it is like kind of gooey. But. A slight disclaimer. So for zero degrees, they used to have classic milk tea. However, they no longer sell that. So we settled for the next best thing they have: jasmine milk tea. Okay. I'm not gonna like this. Yes. Okay, this one's not as bad. Mm. Like regular milk tea? No, in the sense, I'll let you drink it first, but. Because we don't like floral. So this is like tolerable. Like, if you got me this, I'll drink it. Even if it's just milk, I'll drink it. Really yeah, I think it's good. I, the drink, I'll give it... I need to use the boba. Again. The drink, I'll give it a 3.5, and the boba, I'll give it a 3. Mm, a drink, I'll give it a 3. Um, the boba, I'd say I'd have to give it like a 2.5. It has good texture. The taste, um... After like the jasmine milk tea taste like goes away, there's not that much left, but it's like it's not bad. For me, the drink I'll give it like a four point five. It's really really good. Like I like it a lot. And the boba I'll give it a three. It's it's a lot like harder than the other ones, or like it's a lot more round than the other ones. Less chewy. I don't know what's the word, but it's not like all clustered in the bottom and they're not connected. Like each yeah. boba is just like floating by itself. Really easy to drink. And the drink is really, really good. Like, I can drink this every day. Yeah, you probably would if you could. <laughs> um, the tea, it's like 3.5. It's pretty good. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's not the same. And then 3.5, it's okay. It's pretty good. Um, the boba is, I think, the best boba that we've had. So I'll give it a 4 in terms of, like, actual chewiness and, like, te texture. But all the boba tastes the same. Final thoughts. Alright, final thoughts. Um, honestly, it's it's pretty good. I'm, I I normally don't like you know like jasmine um, drinks, but that one was pretty good, so I'm really surprised. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like anything that has to do with flora. I usually avoid those because it tastes bleh, like perfume. Um, but that one was actually pretty good. So like, if I got stuck with that, I would happily drink it. No complaints here. I liked it a lot. The tea is really good. The bowl is really good. I might be a bit biased because I love like jasmine, jasmine milk tea in general, but it was really good for me. I liked it. Is I? Is I? Next one, our last one for today, we have ding tea. <laughs> You're doing that like a beauty product. You're like, yeah, let's yeah, like, do it. <laughs> so one slight difference at ding tea, their boba is not black or dark brown. There actually is like golden boba. I don't know if you guys can see. It's called honey. Boba? No, it's, it's gold, golden, it golden it boba. Is? Yeah, so it has a slight color, like goldish color to it. Yeah, but I don't think it should affect the taste. Mm. Where's the boba? It's not harder. <laughs> if we all get sick because of Mac, I will be so annoyed. <laughs> Who's Mac? All right, the drink's a one, the bow is a two. The drink, I, okay, I'd have to give it a three. It's good, but it's just like, it's very like, it's not too sweet, and it's not like too heavy on the tea, but like, it's very like, how would I say, um. Not good. No, it's it's good, but it's kind of just like reduced. No, it, it tastes exactly like milk. Like that one has no flavor whatsoever. Like, like there's I, no like like flavor that stands out, but together it's just like I don't know. Like it's not something that like wows you. It's just like okay. It's just bland. I want to say it's eh, maybe bland. No, it's bland. Like it, it the drinks are one. 
don't know. For me personally, I just thought. I like the drink. I'll give it like a 2.5. It says I didn't like love it, but it's good. Like I can drink it. And the boba, I'll give it also a 2.5. Yeah. I, I yeah, it's, it's, it's very average. So for this boba, oh, I really like the texture on this. I don't know why. The flavor is alright, so I'll give this one like a 3.5. I agree with the structure. Real the structure? The structure. <laughs> The integrity of the ball. Structure, structure meets <laughs> function, folks. <laughs> the texture of the bowl is outside. Integrity no, farm. No, the texture, like, it, it's so hard. Like, the ball is I think it's really good. I think it's really good. I think it, the tea is literally like 10 reds. It's so watered down. Yeah. But, like, the boba is. That's is the word. Okay. Watered yeah, down. down. It's like 3, 2.5 at best for boba. Yeah. The tea itself is 2. Hard Ding Tea's milk tea was actually like the first milk tea that I ever liked. Um, I really liked their boba. Um, I think one, maybe one of the small flaws was that um, it was watered down just due to the time in which we bought them. And that's for like all of them. Um, but yeah, Ding Tea is really good out of these. Uh, I don't really like Tim Boba's. Um, but like I said, like like you were saying, Mac, like the place is amazing. Like I would definitely, I always go there to study, uh, especially during summer. But um, judging their boba and their drinks, not a big fan. Tune in tomorrow, or tune in later, or this. Keep watching. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cause shared tea and seven leaves are coming up. Woo. Hi. Do you have any opinion about boba? Boba's I eat. I, don't know. I usually get the tropical drinks, so I don't oh, know. Fancy. And here is your favorite guest. Yes. What's up, guys? My name is Andre. But I as I guess. say, the best boba ever is Wushi Land in '66. Oh, Wushi Land! Let me tell you. If you know, you know. Um. So my favorite out of the ones we tried today uh, just has to be Cha Tu O. I like the tea, the boba. It's all right. Oh shit. Zero X is good. The rest is there. Your rest is good, the rest is okay? Yeah. yeah. Alright, for me personally, I liked most of them. Uh, oops. I liked oops. Zero Degrees the most today. Um, so for me, my favorite one was Zero Degrees. Um, the, drink, the drink surprised me a lot. The boba, it was, you know, the boba was pretty good compared to the other ones we tried so far. Yeah, right now, Zero Degrees is number one. From the milk teas that we tried. <laughs> okay, and now, continuing, like nothing ever happened. Alright, so what's right. next? Okay, we have five different places. We have Boba Fiend, um, Boba Tea House, Seven Leaves, Boba Cafe, Has No Label, and Share Tea. And they're all the basic milk tea with boba. So, we'll start off with our first one, Boba Fiend. I'm very tired. Too bad. Alright, let's see. Okay, that was maybe not The tea is a four, the boba is a three. Uh, the tea I would have to give a four, the boba I'd have to give a five. It's pretty good. They're both a little too sweet for me. Um, the balls are a good consistency. The tea is a little too sweet. I'll give it both a three. The drink, I'll give it a 3, the boba, I'll give it a 3 as well. It's really good, but it's too sweet, like Daniel said. Very, very sweet. Yeah, it's it's very sweet for my liking. Alright, so next one we have is Boba Tea House. Oh, <laughs> that was just a straw wrapper. Alright. Uh... The tea is a 2.5 and the boba is also a 2.5. Um, the tea, I would have to give it a 3.5. It's not that sweet, but it tastes like a little bland. Um, the boba, I would have to give that a 2 because, I don't know, it, it tastes like styrofoam a little bit. I'd give the tea a 1. It tastes like watered down and burnt, which I don't know how that happens. But the boba is like, it's a two, it's, it's very mediocre. Yeah, for sure, the tea is a two, and the boba is a two as well. As he said, like, there's a burnt taste for sure. 
Oh, burnt. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. I, I think, think I said it. <laughs> wow, I know what you're talking about. Okay, next off, we have Seven Leaves. This is a, a new place around here. Did you just fart? Did you just fart? Really? <laughs> yeah. That's in the chat. <laughs> no way, this is gonna get cut. Nope. It's better. <laughs> it will not get cut. It's better. It will not get cut. You just fart. You know what? I'm just helping climate change. Alright, All right. Kevin, let's hear it. Boba. Or the tea is a 1.5 and the boba is a 3. Like the tea, it's bad, man. Like, like you know, I thought boba tea house was bad, but that's just next level. Okay, the boba, I give it 3. The tea, I'd have to give it like a 3 as well. I've had this before, but like, this is like this is not great. The boba is a 3. If it's not great, then we can try to buy something again. The boba's for no. sure a three, but the tea almost tastes like, you know how we got like a jug of like, just like watermelon scoops? Like all the juice that collects at the bottom and you drink that, that's what this boba your tea tastes like. That is very accurate. No, it tastes like watermelon leftover juice. I don't know why it tastes like watermelon, but it does. It tastes like watermelon rind. This tastes really good. No. You are crazy. It does not taste too much like milk tea. It doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like water. Dude. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't there's taste no like flavor. There's no milkiness. Like no teeness. Like this there's tastes, nothing. This tastes like milk with some coffee. It tastes great. He, he does not like know this. what milk tastes like, and he does not know what coffee tastes. It like tastes either. really good, dude. So I'll give this no. a three point five at least, and the boba I'm gonna give it a four. All right. Next we have boba cafe. Um, this one doesn't have a label. They don't work like that. Let's see the pop. Okay. One out of ten pop. Uh oh. Yeah. Bro, that's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> like that initial taste, like, uh uh-uh, that's a one for me. The boat was pretty decent though. I think I'll give the boat a three. Yeah, I have to agree the tea is pretty bad. Like first initial taste, it tastes like chocolate milk that has been roasted. Like it tastes very chocolatey. Very like not good. The boat was pretty decent. I, I I'd give that like maybe a three point five. It's pretty decent, but the tea is a no. <laughs> the tea is a one point five. It's like it's not as bad as the burnt watered down one. I don't know which one that one was. The boba for sure is like I'd say it's like a three. Actually no, it's a lie. I say it's a two. It's a little too hard. I'll give bo- boba a three as well. I liked it. The drink I'll give it like a two. Okay. And like none of them have really tasted like milk tea, like what you expect milk tea to taste like. That's not true. They taste what they taste like. Really? Yeah. Mm. Pick it up. Mm. Mm. Go ahead. Okay, the tea is a 3.75 and the boba is a 3.5. Okay, I'm gonna give the tea a 4 and the boba 4.5. I really like this, it's really good. The tea is a 3 and the boba is a 4. The tea is just like if you freeze grapes <laughs> and then you put them in your mouth, it's like the over. I don't know, that's what it initially tastes like. But it doesn't taste like milk tea. I don't know if my taste buds are off today, but. It tastes like frozen grapes initially. I'll give the tea a four, and the boba also a four. I really like this drink. Like I can, I think this has been the best today. The sweetness level is perfect, and the boba is also really good. Why am I tasting fruit in every single drink? This is weirding me out. Yeah, honestly, there's better versions of these ones. I think this is really good. No, it's no, no. It's really good. There's it's no been better. Well. It's been better. I remember. I it's think been it's perfect. No, no. It's perfect. I still taste the watermelon. Like <laughs> what? watermelon, it tastes really good. <laughs> no, the aftertaste, it tastes like watermelon water from the rind. I like this a lot. Oh, I wouldn't know. I don't eat watermelon. Except seven leaves. Seven leaves is bad. Seven leaves? 
is perfection. Seven Leaves is good. It's Some of the so drinks are bad. Good. It's overrated. It's overpriced. Like it's not good. Sure, tea is the best. Grass jelly is better than boba. I think I think boba fiend still reigns supreme. Sure, tea is also really good. And boba fiend is really really underrated. Boba for, is for, the, really for good. the price, for the quality, and the quantity, like. It's top notch. Like Boba Fiend's like the best in my opinion. I think the irony is I'm the only Asian person. I don't like any of them. Peace. <laughs> and I'm Mexican. And I love milk tea. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty neutral with everything, so I'll give an honest opinion. And I'm lactose intolerant. Dude, we're all <laughs> actually no. Who's not lactose intolerant? Mac and Kevin? No. Oh okay. yeah. Have you take a fat dump after this? Oh gosh. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much guys for watching. Tune in next time. See what stupid shit we do next. Ah. I think for that. Alright guys, so thank you guys for watching this video. Um, we know it dragged on pretty long, but I think that we gave a pretty diverse... Mm -hmm. a pretty we, we gave a pretty diverse rating um, of all these places. And, you know, leave, leave a comment... Leave a comment down below of like what you think of our opinions. Tell us if we're trash or if we're on the right track. Um, you know, start some controversy. That's what we're all about. I mean, my opinions are right. That's all I'm saying. I'm right. You guys are wrong. So shut up. What's the universal law? Hey, that's copyright. Kevin <laughs> always right. That is not a universal law. <laughs> that's a universal law. I think no. we gave honest opinions. I know that we're saying that, oh, I'm right and no, you're wrong and whatever. But for the most part, I'm sure we all gave our honest opinions about all, all these places. Except Kevin, he is very biased when it comes to Seven Leaves. He hates that place and he will never admit that's good. So just I, letting you know. Their only decent drink is the house coffee. How, how many how many times did you try their did you try their house coffee? Once? Three. Once from Paula. No. That was the first time I tried it. Who is Paula? <laughs> Tune in next time. <laughs> <laughs> Paula. Done. I set you up for it, but I didn't know where I was, I was going.